All right. Uh, we've got two more left, uh, so give a big round of applause for Sun Saluter. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Eden Full. I'm 19 years old, and I invented the Sun Saluter. Uh, what started out as just a little high school invention <laughs> has now turned into a company with the support of Peter Thiel's uh, 20 Under 20 Fellowship. So I'm really excited to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, what is the Sun Saluter? Well, the Sun Saluter is a low-cost, non-electrical rotator for solar panels to generate more electricity from the sun. And it can be used in developed and emerging markets, as well as large and small installations. And that's pretty key. I'll explain that. Right now, solar is expected to meet 7% of the world's needs by 2030, and 25% of these needs by 2050. I think that these targets can be better. We can do better than that. And what we can, in order to do that, we need to use the sun saluter. So rotating your solar panel produces up to 40% more electricity when you direct it at the sun, so it's perpendicular at every time during the day. 80% of all solar panels right now don't rotate, and that's a huge problem. Existing tracking systems, which is what is called when you rotate the solar panel, it's not good enough. They're not practical for most solar panels, and they're expensive, they're high maintenance, they're counterintuitive, it's really complicated. And you also have these Freon trackers that, you know, they're against the Montreal Protocol, and that's not good enough either. We need a tracking system that can be used in any market for projects of any size, so that it can be worthwhile even when you're just deploying one solar panel, and it can be worthwhile when you're deploying 65,000 panels. The Sun Saluter is a simple and sustainable and scalable way of making this happen. We use a bimetallic control device that uh, uses ambient temperature change in order to rotate your solar panel by adjusting the location based on how hot or cold it is during the day. And it's mounted on a customizable frame that can be either made of bamboo or steel, depending on your location and your preference. And all of this is passive. So it doesn't use electricity. It simplifies the manufacturing process. And you can have fewer panels for the same output, or you can have the same number of panels for a higher output. So this really contributes towards the effort of really making solar energy cheaper and addressing the concerns that people have with solar energy today. The Sun Saluter has the potential to change many lives. Our first pilot project in Kenya, we built the entire prototype using, for $10. And we were able to give those villagers, um, there are 1,000 villagers, a, an additional lantern or two, um, two cell phones that they can communicate with each other or a whole additional battery can be charged every day so that they can store the electricity and share it with each other. So the concept works. How does it work? At 9 a.m., the sun saluter is pointed um, at the east. At 12 p.m., it's pointed directly overhead. And at 3 p.m., it's pointed towards the west. So it tracks that location so that you can really optimize your output. So every solar panel on the planet needs a sun saluter. It's not just villages in Kenya. It's not just large-scale installation projects. Every solar panel. And so we'd really like to make this happen by establishing partnerships with a variety of different um, partners all along the supply chain. So solar panel manufacturers, installation groups, and really making this happen for commercial and residential projects all over the world. And so we have um, a number of partners who've already expressed interest in working with us. And the countries outlined in red on the map are countries where we have volunteers contact us saying they're interested in having a sun saluter um, piloted in their country. So in just one year, what does this mean for you and me? The sun saluter will cost approximately $200 um, when it's installed on your house. And so if you have 15 panels on your house, or approximately 3 kilowatt, um, this can generate approximately 4,000 kilowatt hours more for a total 12,000. And this is all at a sixth of the cost of a traditional tracking system. It can reduce the payback period for your solar panels by up to five years. It requires 75% less maintenance than a traditional tracking system, which has a motor. It displaces more electricity to, as the equivalent of three more kilotons of carbon dioxide for a total 11 tons. And so in terms of growth, if a sun saluter was installed on as many panels as possible, it would increase our solar capacity over the next um, nine years by 111 gigawatts. And this is extremely significant. So what's the plan for the rest of the year? 
Well, we're going to spend the next couple of months just refining the product and continuing to uh, establish partnerships. And then in 2012, we're going to have three different product designs tested in at least five locations with contracts with two to three firms by the end of the year. And so the vision is rapid adoption of the Sun Saluter in as many markets as possible on projects of any size. So for, for example, if the Sun Saluter was installed on 15% of solar panels by 2030, Philadelphia, the entire Philadelphia, would be carbon neutral. Thank you. Can you, can you please tell us your CV very quickly? My CV? Yeah, yeah. how very did you come to invent this thing at 19? <laughs> sure. um, I built my first solar car when I was nine. I did a lot of science fair projects going up, growing up, and then I realized that you know, it was more than just my passion. I could share this with everybody else. So when I went to Princeton, um, I, I, I ended up stopping out after two years because of the Peter Thiel 20 Under 20 Fellowship. But did Princeton make a counter offer, or did they just let you go? <laughs> they let me go. <laughs> I think um, they're, they've been really excited about what I've, what's been going on. So um, they helped the first pilot project happen. So now I really want to take things bigger. But um, I've always been interested in solar energy. I've been working in the space for about nine years now. So. <laughs> oh, nine years. <laughs> That's really And I dare, I dare to make the comment that you don't look to me that you have a Jewish mother, you know, which in my country is the main driving force for this kind of thing. My parents were really encouraging. Um, they, you know, they told me to do whatever I want. My dad's an artist, so, you know, he encouraged me to create. Round of build. applause for a parent. Right. <laughs> and if you're, so I just want to get, a, a, just, just, a, so the key thing, uh, what, what causes it to move during okay. the day? So one side of the panel is heavier than the other, and then I have a bimetallic control device. So at different times during the day, these different bimetallic coils will displace based on how hot or cold it is. So, so and this will last forever. It's, it's Can hard. you repeat what she said? <laughs> I think one side of the panel is heavier than the other, and, and then and there's these bits of metals that, that expand, exactly. presumably, and contract during the exactly. day or something. Uh, yeah. Does it make any sense, the truth? Um, I'm, it works in Kenya. I really think it can work everywhere else. But, and and will that, that once it's installed, you won't have to come back and keep pairing it. It will just do you this You need forever. to maintain it once a year. So right now, existing trackers, you have to maintain it four or five times a year because they have algorithms and it's complicated. So what you can do is you can go back once a year. Oh, they're rusting a little bit. Switch out the set of strips, which only costs like 10 or $20 for just the strips because you have the frame, which is the total $200. Are you looking for investors? I am. So, yeah. <laughs> So if you're, yeah. <laughs> so can we, uh, <laughs> what's your opening offer, uh, uh, Yossi? Not as long as we judge, you know, we should separate. So, <laughs> you know that we have to separate the church and the state, you know. You know Yossi is a was first investor in internet me instant messaging, so he knows a great investment opportunity when he sees one. So it's, it's, uh, That's not exactly, I was lucky, you know, I didn't have any idea what they were doing. <laughs> If, so, you're, you know. if you're 19, we all feel good about the future of the world, which is great. But my question for you along the lines of what the, the judges were asking you is, why is it that Giganticore Energy Limited, or whoever they are, has not swiped this up? Because what you're proposing seems like a simple solution to their big problem. Why, why are you here for this challenge? Because not, she's smarter people? than them. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of it actually does have to do with my age and the fact that making these connections, it just hasn't been entirely possible for me yet. So I feel like by going to these things and talking to as many people as possible, I'm hoping someone will hook me up eventually. Okay. <laughs> as they say in Hollywood, you never should compete with dogs and 19 years old scientists. <laughs> So, I mean, I'm just trying to understand. So, a very good point that was made. You know, I mean, you would expect that this technology, it sounds so simple. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you, are you sure that the big companies aren't going to steal this off you and develop it? I mean, what, what, how, why aren't they doing that? Um, so, the market Back plan is... Back to my is, criminal uh, mindset. Yeah. Uh, um, talked about. 
You're Basically, a bad guy. Uh, I have partners. Um, some of my partners are SunTech and Kyocera, so they're major solar panel manufacturers. Okay. And they're um, the CCO of SunTech is actually mentoring me, and so he's kind of guiding me through the process. And um, right now, the technology is patent pending, and since uh, the technology is unique for every geographical latitude, um, this means that. Uh, if you stole it while I was working on it in Kenya and you tried to take it to Canada, it's not going to work the same. Um, you might have a really tough time doing that. So the intellectual property lies in the fact that you need to calibrate it specifically for your location, and only I know how to do that. So how... <laughs> uh, how, how old were you when you got your first lawyer? Three years old. <laughs> No, I've, I'm, I've, I'm really lucky to have the mentorship of a couple of lawyers. Um, one of them, you one see, of my closest friends. You can't friends. say that in America. That's oh. just... yeah. Tell me, where you will be when you are 29 years old? I don't know. I'd really like to see this go in as many places as possible. I'd like to license the technology out, and we'll just see what happens. Maybe a nighttime solar panel is the, uh, the next challenge. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that is brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have one more left. Uh, so I think we just saw here that there's uh, a 